Annalise Creates or Annalise Creations. I'm going to try another video again for you guys. And what I'm going to show you, oh, hang on. Let me get those out of the way. I didn't mean to show those. Um, those are for a artist trading card ATC swap on um, Crazy Island Family. And I don't want to show those because those are surprises. But I wanted to show you how to make a artist trading card envelope out of an old calendar. I have friends in New Zealand that every year, they're so sweet, they send me a calendar and I've always wondered what I could do with the recycled calendars. Let me move this out of the way. This is in the way. One of my things on my table here. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I actually had made a template out of another envelope I had made a while back and I mailed it out but before I mailed it out I traced it and then I cut out the tracing. So this is what I got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the template that I made out of Bristol paper and find it. Bristol paper at any art store. I love Bristol paper because a lot of the artwork that I do, often I will make, draw something on a regular piece of paper and if I make mistakes I erase it and everything and then I actually trace it, transfer the drawing using my tracing, I have a tracing um, board thing I use. I'll show you an, on, on another video another time. Um, but anyhow, I transfer my drawing onto Bristol paper and then I cut it out and glue it to whatever I'm working on, whether it be a journal page or something like that. And anyhow, so I'm going to show you how I do this. I find a nice image from the calendar, like this one here. Hopefully you can see it. I've got so much junk on my table, it's not even funny. If a lot of you I've heard out there are craft hoarders. <laughs> you haven't seen my place. <laughs> Anyhow, so I take a calendar piece here, page, and I tear it off. Let's see, I tore it off from a calendar from 2013, last year. And then I turn it over. Hang on, let me put this away here. There we go. I turn it over to where there's the calendar because that's the side I don't want to use. And then I just place my stencil. I kind of look around and see where, what do I want to capture inside of this. Okay, say, so say for instance I want that. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to kind of eye it, eyeball it. I don't measure, I just eyeball. Um, I'm just one of those people that I hate measuring tapes. Anything to do with math and numbers, forget it. I mean, if somebody tells me something by foot, meters, centimeters, inches, I kind of go, huh, okay, show me. That's why I'm an artist. I'm a visual person. Don't try to explain things to me. Show me. So anyways, I'm going to take a Sharpie. And I'm just going to outline the template. So basically I'm tracing the outer edges. Just like this. Okay. And then when I'm done, take it off. You've got your template. Okay. And this should fit a standard two and a half by three and a half inch ATC. Let me see my notes. Yeah. So that's, that should, it should. But sometimes I over, I over, um, what, what can you say? I over uh, measure. That's the word I'm looking for. Like I said before in my previous video, my words don't always come to me. So you might hear me say, whatchamacallit. And hopefully you'll understand what that means. Now I found this really cool cutting pen. It's got an ex 
tiny, tiny X-Acto knife at the end. I'll show closer. I got this in one of my favorite stores called Daiso Japan. It's a dollar store. I'm in Northern California, and the Dollar's Tree store that we have here in town has some cool stuff, but I, can't, I have to tell you, the Japanese know how to make their stuff. And so it's a pen, and it's really tiny. I've seen other pens similar to this in American stores, but not with this tiny little tip. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. So I'm going to take the pen, and oh, before I cut through my paper, because I've done that before on my art table here. One of these days I'll show you what my art table looks exactly looks like. It's an actual very old vintage drafting table. It is heavy, heavy, heavy. I, when I first got it last summer, my husband and my son and my daughter's boyfriend helped to bring it in the house and they brought it in downstairs in our living room which really doesn't have much furniture and I was working down there for a while but with all the noise and all the people traffic and doggy traffic that I get downstairs I have three dogs I needed a quieter space to work to think because you get to a certain age and your brains just doesn't concentrate the same as it used to so yeah so anyhow I cut it out okay so I'm just gonna say okay I've cut it out okay and it's going to turn out like this okay see the back of it and you're going to glue the flaps see how the flaps here so I'm gonna I'm going to uh, I'll just probably when I edit this I'll fast forward through this but I cut it out because I'm going to show you because I, I don't want in case people want some help with this. And I've seen other people do this, but they've actually had actual measuring templates, which I don't. Mine, the way I do stuff is often through trial and error. And like here, I've cut kind of, yeah. Anyways, or you know what? Forget this, because like I said, I learned through trial and error. <laughs> get rid of that. Get my ugly scissors here. And just cut it out with the scissors. Along those lines. Okay, kind of eyeball it. That's how I like to do things. I just eyeball it. Because, like I said, give me a math, give me rulers, I hate them. I do have a cutting board, an old paper cutter that I use to cut paper down to size. And that's the only, about the only time I will measure something, is if I really need paper down to that size. So I'm sure I, yeah, I probably didn't get it all in the camera, but that's okay. You didn't need to see that part anyways. Okay, so I've done it like this. Okay, so then I take, where's my glue stick? Oh, great. Here it is, <laughs> from what I did last night. I like, happen to like the Scotch brand glue stick. It's clear glue stick and it's wrinkle free, supposedly wrinkle free. I'm not sure if it really is wrinkle free, okay? Like my air quotes, okay. Anyways, so I'm going to fold it over like this. I fold it over. Now kind of aim it over. Okay, so you got one side folded. This side actually, this lower flap should go in and actually fold in first because you're going to put some glue right at the bottom. Okay, so you're just going to put some glue right at the bottom, just like that. And then you're going to fold that one over okay then for the next part you want some glue ah, see I told you this is really sticky glue but I love it because it's easy to use um, yeah. 
and it doesn't stick to my fingers because I'm known to have things stick to me. I'm a person that mess follows me wherever I go. I never wear white because I know I'm going to end up with dirt. Okay, so it works like this. Now, sometimes I get a little glue on the outside, so I take, whoops, I take, just knock something over. I'm still having to use my headset because we haven't been able to find the cord to my, my camera. And unfortunately, my camera's not one of those fancy, fancy schmancy ones that you can get a new, um, get a new, um, wireless one. Mine's not wireless, unfortunately. Okay, so I've got my baby wipe. I'm just going to clean off the excess. That's pretty much what I do. Because this is already kind of like, uh, what do you call it? It's kind of coated paper, I guess you would call it, what the calendars use. A lot of them use coat, coated paper, so it's easy to wipe off. And then I just let it air dry or whatever. And then when you're done, you can fit a... a ATC, but I'm only showing the back of the ATC. I'm not showing the front because this is for a uh, Crazy Island style summer ATC swap, so I don't want to show it. So it'll it just slides in here, just like that. And then what I do is I don't mail it out like this because I'm afraid it'll get lost in the mail or something. So I put it inside another envelope. It usually fits in a business size envelope. I don't know what the European sizes are, uh, sorry, um, but whatever Europe's standard business le size letters are, I mean, le yeah, envelopes are, yeah. So anyways, and then I just close this, and I don't glue it. I just get a piece of washi tape, but see, like, here I kind of overshot that, but it doesn't matter. Because I think it's the thought that counts when it comes to making handmade envelopes. And like I said, I eyeball everything. And then so I get out my washi tapes. This is just only half of what I've got. I bought this at the dollar store. And then I just pick out whatever washi tape I think I like for that. And then I just put a strip over the top to seal it in. And then you've got a nice little envelope for using your calendar. So that's it for today, guys. Have a good rest of the week. I probably won't have any new videos up this week um, just because I'm trying to catch up on a lot of things. My family, my husband and my son have been away to Yosemite. They're coming back tomorrow, so it'll be chaos for a while in my house. So yeah, so I won't be recording this week, at, at least not. So this is my second video ever official video other than my flipograms that I've put on YouTube and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful week rest of the week and weekend and all that jazz and listen to some great music it's uplifting it's good for the soul